Hey guys, what's up? It's me, M. Kwan, here with Avora TV. Now, we've been really, really busy um, with Google because uh, yesterday and today, Google have announced a whole bunch of new software, hardware, and um, yeah, I've been busy bringing you guys information about that. Anyway, today is really interesting because amongst some of the announcements today, Google decided to drop uh, Google Chrome for iOS. Now, if you are familiar with Google Chrome, it's probably one of the best browsers, um, arguably one of the best browsers uh, currently uh, at this moment in time. And to get this on iOS is really sweet because it gives you an alternative to the stock Safari app. So what I want to do is spend a few moments and show you some of the key features of Google Chrome for both the iPad and the iPhone 4S. So let's start off with the iPhone 4S to begin with. Let's load it up. And you can see that when we do load it up, it's pretty quick to load up. Um, what you can see immediately is that there's no bottom bar that you would find in Safari. So you have a static bar in Google Chrome and I kind of uh, prefer it this way because it just it's just easier um, to kind of view and, and navigate in my opinion. So that's that there at the top. So this is a unified bar that means that you can put you know .coms, URLs, as well as uh, search directly from that. Again, another feature which is nice to see in, in a browser. A few other features, we can see that you've got a tab here on uh, the right hand side. Now this shows up a whole bunch of options and some of these options include things like a new incognito tab. Now incognito is basically um, uh, the ability to browse without any of your data being kind of you know stored no cookies and and search history and so on and so forth so it's good if you want to check out some of the more dodgier sites but um it's nice to see that they're easily uh, accessible in a way that it isn't so with safari because in safari what you have to do is you have to go into settings safari and there's a there's kind of an icon that you have to click to have that feature come up so it's nice to have that within the options itself Amongst the other options, you've got bookmarks, you've got other devices, I'm going to talk about that in a moment. You've got email, find and page, request desktop site, settings and help, pretty basic there. Now one of the key selling points and killer uh, USPs about this particular app, Google Chrome, as a browser, is the fact that they've brought, in some respects, a cloud browsing to... Um, to uh, multiple devices. So if I'm using Google Chrome on my iPad, my iPhone, and my Mac, it means that I can get easy access to it. And all the search history, all the various tabs that are open, they're all accessible with this. So how does it work? Well, when you log in for the first time, you'll be asked to put in Google credentials. Uh, and this is sort of your Google account that you, know, you can use across various platforms and, and devices. Once you put that in, you're all ready to go. So I'll show you if I click other devices. We've got the iPad running here. And if we open this up in the iPad and we do other devices there, you'll see I've got tabs in my iPhone. So let's do this. Let's go to avora.com because it's an awesome site. And it's really content rich. There's, there's tons of images, there's tons of uh, media embedded stuff in there. And once that does load up, and it loads up pretty pretty fast, it's still got some loading there, but it's finished now. So once that does load up, you'll see that it will appear, if we refresh this, go to other devices, there we go, it appears on the iPad. And, and this is really a killer feature of this because it's, um, it's, you know, it's a shame that Apple haven't implemented this with Safari. We know that it's coming in some shape to iOS 6. Um, but it doesn't really mean that it's cross cross platform. It only means that it will run with Mac and you know iOS on the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch. But it doesn't mean that it will be cross platform in the way that Google Chrome is. And I think that's a plus point for Google Chrome. The other thing is that um, navigating through uh, both the iPhone app and uh, the iPad. I'll show you the iPhone app first. So let's check it out. So if you put your finger to the side, either side and you move to the opposite side, you'll see that you can actually move between tabs and, and then it's really, really smooth and really sweet. And if you look at it carefully, doesn't it remind you of like OS X Lion or Snow Leopard? Yeah, 
that graphic there is really nice to, to, to use and to move. Um, so that's one of the ways that you can browse quickly through tabs. The other way is that if you hit this tab button at the top of it here, you've got like cards here on the iPhone version. On the iPad, what you have here on the iPad is you have tabs that you can just multiply move around. So let's say we want to move new tab, move it over here, and we want to load up mquantgear.com. Uh, let's move that in between that tab and that tab. It's easy to do. Uh, the other feature here is, again, on the iPad, move, put your finger to e either edge of the iPad, and then just slide across with one finger, and it will move to the next tab. And if you want to go back, you can do it the opposite way, and, and you're good to go. So these are really some of the key features. There's a whole bunch of other features. One of the final features that I want to share with you guys is the fact that you can actually use, if you can see the top bar over here, we've actually got the ability to use the microphone. Uh, to search and we were testing that it doesn't show up on this software that we're using to show you the screenshots it doesn't show up um, on the screenshots but when we do use it it's really and I mean it really really good to use so that's that's something that's nice to see implemented there one final final thing is the fact that in the keyboards I like the way that things have been placed at the top you know Google's really thought about this and, and you can see that there. So it's easy to access some of the key dot coms, forward slash, you know, hyphen, dot. All of that is really easy to, to get to. So where can you get Google Chrome? Well, it should be available to download on the App Store. If it's not available in the UK App Store, give it a bit of time. We've got uh, the US App Store account, developer account, so that's why we downloaded it. Um, in my opinion, really, this is, uh, at the moment, the top browser for iOS, so make sure you go and check it out. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. If you want to catch up with any of our uh, previous videos from uh, Google's I.O., including the new Nexus 7 and the Nexus Q first look, then be sure to check out the links at the end of this video. Until then, have a great early morning, late evening. We'll see you soon. Peace and blessings.